I'm Dave, I'm the chef owner here at Loca, and I'm gonna show you how to make pancetta. Uh, we use whole animal here at Loca, so it's pretty much uh, the luck of the draw when it comes to the animal, but you're usually always looking for a nice layering of fat on the bottom and on the top, and a nice streak of meat through here. Uh, we're gonna bust this into a, a pancetta. It's a pretty simple recipe. I know that everyone can do this following these, uh, these simple guidelines, and soon enough, you'll be having pancetta sandwiches all the time. I'm super passionate about uh, whole animal butchery, uh, respect to the animal's life and using every single part. First step is to mix all of our ingredients into one bowl and then we can crust our pancetta in it before we put it into a bag. So to start, we're gonna take a little bit of sliced garlic and then our thyme and juniper, fresh thyme sprigs always and some juniper, brown sugar, a little bit of sweetness in there, cracked black pepper, crumbled bay leaves. Next up is star anise uh, nutmeg and some fennel seed. That goes in. Kosher salt, we only use kosher salt here. It gives a really great finish on the, uh, on the cure. It doesn't draw out a lot of pork flavor, it just really advances the cure and gives it a really great finish. And this is pig salt, so this is our, uh, our nitrate. Uh, I think one of the most important things that goes into the pancetta recipe would be the pink salt. It's, um, it's your safe bet for curing meat especially at home if you're doing it. Take the cure, press it right into the side. So the biggest thing is you wanna make it, make sure this is super, super evenly coated with all the salt and sugar. Always make sure that your flaps are flipped over so that it's not dirty when you go to put the meat or anything into the bag, because you won't get a nice seal in the end. Take everything that's remaining in your bowl, get that in there too. And whether you're using a Ziploc bag at home or you're using a vacuum seal bag, all you want to do is get that set back up. We'll take this to the vacuum sealer next. So into a nice flat pan, as much weight as possible. Make sure you choose some beers or something that you won't be drinking because you'll just keep taking the weight back out of it. So. And then press it on there, label it so you know what day it's going in, and then 14 days later, it's coming out. Pancetta would be one of the simplest cures to start with, uh, if diving into the charcuterie, for sure. So, so our pancetta now has been rinsed after the bag, 14 days in the bag. Take it out, rinse it all with water, get as much of everything off, pat it dry. Now we're just going to crust this with some black pepper. Just want to spread this all over. All right, so we're just going to take standard butcher twine, pull a nice piece off, longer than probably what you would uh, normally think you need. And we're just gonna do a simple tie on this guy to hang it up. So the second step to curing uh, meats at home would be to set up a proper chamber. Uh, I don't recommend using a residential fridge. Humidity is too high and the temperature is too cold. So a bar fridge or a wine fridge is ideal. It has a proper, uh, proper temperature, sits about 10 to 12 degrees and has a higher humidity. And it's a great spot for curing meat. I think the ideal time for curing pancetta would be six months. It's, uh, it's got optimum flavor, it's dried out, a lot of the moisture is gone, and you can just slice it, eat it like that, or enjoy it as a sandwich. 